<laughs> Looks like things are coming together. Yeah. We still need to figure out lighting, music, and something to write on that banner. If we're gonna die, we should have some fun first. Music? You gonna play the piano all night? God, no. I wanna actually attend this thing. <laughs> Wouldn't be a party without some kind of mood lighting. Let's I've been go. going back and forth between colors for ages. Green's calming, but purple might be nice. Rim gets natural moonlight, so something to compliment that, maybe? Hmm. Well, purple was my dad's favorite color. I read somewhere purple was a color of royalty. And that describes us exactly not at all. <laughs> I'll make it happen. Look, check this out. When you turn that crank there, it plays music. I pulled out the old headmaster's gramophone so he could play some records. Not much of a selection, but it should do. Just tell me what you want to listen to. You guys have any classical? You bet. Ha. Ah, a woman after my own heart. Are we using the banner for some kind of party theme? Mm, not exactly. It's meant to be more motivational. I'd keep it short, though. There's not as much room as you think. I was thinking something uplifting, like, we're gonna get through this. AJ, why don't you come up with something? Really? I have an idea. It'll be a surprise. I promise not to swear all over it. <laughs> okay, we'll have Ten break out his paintbrush and ride it out. This place is gonna look great. Oh, and Willie was asking for you. He's up in Marlin's office. He said he had a surprise for the party, but he wanted to show it to you first. Hey, Clem, check it out. I found a bunch of books on ships. There's some awesome stuff about fires at sea and explosions and stuff. The key is the boiler. Wait. What are you talking about? I have an idea about how to stop those assholes coming back to the school after we've rescued the others. And from hurting anyone else ever again. We're gonna blow up the boat. What? It's the only way to make sure they don't come back. Besides, it feels right, you know? For Mitch. I don't want to uh, discourage you, but we're gonna be on that boat to rescue the others. Please, don't get us killed. What? No! I mean, yeah, I still have a few details to work out, but don't worry. I'll make sure there's time for you to get off the boat before she explodes. Trust me, this'll work. We'll be okay. Okay, everybody, get ready to boogie. And, um, Clem, I'm sorry for before, about how I treated Ten. I didn't mean to get so angry. I know it's not his fault. That's nice, Willie, but don't tell me. Tell Ten. <laughs> okay, he's gonna get us all killed. That's what I think is gonna happen here. Great, Ruby. Couldn't have done it without you. But Surprise, Just dummies. wait till you see what else I've got planned. Go ahead and mingle. I'll let you know when it's time. I guess I'll mingle. I see you two are working together. Yeah, Willie asked me to help with his special project. Well, that's good to hear. Is it ready? Good to go, Clem. It'll work. Actually, uh, I was thinking maybe we should name it. Something cool. I mean, I think it deserves a name. All the best bombs have names. Yeah, we absolutely have to name it. I thought you'd make fun of me, but hell yeah. Let's name this fucker. 
You made it, so we'll name it after you. Willie Jr. That's like my name, Alvin Jr. It is. I used to hate my name. Not anymore. Welcome to the world, W.J. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I found them. Okay, Clementine. These here are our official Ericsson psych evaluations and probationary reports. Okay. I don't get it. Well, these explain why all of us got sent to this school in the first place. Oh, sh. And how we got stuck here for as long as we did. So, what's the game? I figured if we're all going on this crazy mission together, you might as well know who we really are. So, I'll read some of what the adults thought about us. And you have to guess which one of us fits the bill. I'll make sure it's someone you've actually met. This'll be the first one. While otherwise a remarkable student, blank continues to be plagued by fits of anger, uncontrollable cursing, and repeated physical altercations with the senior faculty. Well, not to speak ill of the dead, but that sounds exactly like Marlin. Yeah, I guess it does, but no, wasn't him. That's Ruby's file. <laughs> what? Shit. Really? Guilty as charged. Our sweet Ruby here was kind of a nightmare when she first showed up. Ooh. She once chased the home ec teacher around the yard with a barbecue fork this big. No way. <laughs> Don't worry. That was a long time ago. I mean, I can totally see it. <laughs> the first time I met Ruby, she was all, that little motherfucker. <laughs> Said I was sorry. What? You guys want to know why I got sent here? Dude, no. Chronic masturbation. Willie, I speak for all of us when I say nobody has ever, ever wanted to know that. Oh. What does that mean? No! Uh uh, don't you dare. Uh, anyway, maybe we should change up the music? Oh, I've all kind of different music, I think. There's a lot of them. How many? I don't know. A lot. Sure, we've heard enough of this. Break out the jazz. how many of us we lost. Remember that Justin guy? And Theresa and Jasper, that one girl with colored braces, and Joey, Maddie, Lamar. Erin, she had the braces. Alex, Dewey, Trey, Stephanie. Holy crap, how many of us died? 34. Whose is it? Violet's. Should we read it? I, uh, I, I could tell you guys my story instead. What got me sent here, I mean. Only if you want. It's not great. I was hoping you'd tell me. So, my family was stupid rich. Parents gave me everything I wanted, when I wanted it. Except for one thing, singing lessons. God, I begged my dad, told him I wanted to be a real musician. But all he said was, you get to be happy or you get to be rich. Can't be both. I know now that he was just trying to teach me a dumb dad lesson, but I hated him for that. So I decided I'd teach him a lesson. I thought, 
I'll break up my parents' marriage. That hurt real bad, right? So, I broke into my dad's credit card accounts and made all these purchases in his name. Did this for over a year. This is how rich we were. He never noticed he was spending a fortune on a mistress that I'd made up for him. But I made sure my mom did. Sent her all the receipts for the hotel rooms, the jewelry, all of it. They had a fight all night long. He denied it. She wouldn't have it. I sat in the corner and cried to help it feel more real. When their divorce was final, I told them the truth. I said, you get to be happy or you get to be rich. You don't get to be both. You know, those two would have been happily married forever, but then I had to go be a vindictive fuckhead. I came here the week after. I can see by your face you regret it. They said we were bad people, Clem. They weren't wrong. Still, none of us deserve to be ditched out here in the middle of the forest by the people that were supposed to make us better. Sorry, this was supposed to be fun. I guess I'm not really a game person. Don't beat yourself up. You said it yourself. Clem needs to know who she's leading into battle. Hey, I've got an idea. Do you guys remember when Minnie would sing us Don't Be Afraid when all of us used to get scared? Of course I remember. I helped compose it with her. Could you maybe play it for us? If I was here, she could sing the words, but... Yeah. Yeah, I'd love to, Ten. God, I can't believe he did that to his dad. I mean... This is for you, Minnie.
Oh man, this, this is a hard episode. <laughs> Just thinking about all the people that they've lost over all that time. It's just a lot. Oh no. <laughs> Hey, sweet pea. We? Why the train? You always pick the train. I'm not sure. Maybe because this is where it all started. Where you taught me to shoot and to cut my hair. To be ready for what was coming. Quick study. So, what's on your mind this time? I'm worried, Lee. I've got a lot of people depending on me, and I don't know if what I'm doing is right. Oh, I know that feeling. You know, I was uh, making it all up as I went along, right? Uh, couldn't let on, of course. You being so little. I never noticed. It just felt like you always knew the right thing to do. Eh? Yeah? Well, I got lucky. Luck counts for a lot. I'm gonna need some now. You wanna tell me about what you're up against? I'm with a new group now. And I've been in so many. And they always fall apart. I really like this one. It's different. It almost feels like home. That's a good thing. It's hard being alone out there. But we're in trouble. Some bad people captured my friends, and getting them back might get the rest of us killed. I'm not worried. What? Whatever trouble you're in, you get out of it. You get your friends out of it. You don't know that. I know you're a survivor. The Clementine I know is gonna fix it. I really believe that. You're right. I just needed to hear you say it. I'm going to get my friends out of this. Every one of them. Alive. That's right. Imagine how Violet will feel when she finds out you came to rescue her. You'll have given her hope again. <sighs> oh, sweet pea, you know you always get like this before something big. Remember how scared you were before you charged into that mess at McCarroll Ranch? You survived that, didn't you? That was different. I was alone. I know. It's harder when you have something to lose. But having people you care about, that's a good thing. They're fighting beside you. Because of you. Come see me again, when you've gotten them out, okay? Out and safe. Sound good? And hopefully we can talk about happier things. If you know of any. Lee, I miss you so much. I wish you were really here. <sighs> I miss you too, Clementine. But we'll have to make do with pretending. Thank you, Lee. Talking to you always makes me feel a little bit better. I meant to ask. How's the boy? He's good, Lee. You'd like him. I bet. You teach him to shoot yet? <laughs> you have no idea. 
I guess the world got pretty hard since I left it. A kid growing up in it, he'd be hard too. You're in my shoes now, raising a kid. Think you got a handle on it? Uh, it can't be easy. Wanted to give him a childhood, but knowing what it takes to survive now. It was easier for me since the world was just changing. But you're living in one that's changed completely. You doing okay? EJ's amazing me. I've taught him to be strong and brave and capable. You'd be so proud. You mean more than I already am. short <laughs> um you don't know how hard it is to find scissors these days <laughs> time to go clementine you've got people that need you <sighs> goodbye lee Wake up. It's time to go. We got a long walk. Bad enough having a flashback of Lee, but then it just made me think about my granddad. We're really doing this. Only the team blending in with the walkers need to cover themselves. Now we just need your walker friend to... He's here. Good lord. Uh, <laughs> hello. Guys, this is James. He's my friend. He's, uh... So cool! How do you get the skin like that? Uh, oh. I, um... Clementine? Can I try it on? That's not a good idea. Come on, please! Willie, stay focused. Now isn't the time for this. We can ask questions later. Yeah, right. Sorry. I'm focused. Oh, and sorry I tried to shoot you that one time. Your mask looks so real. Functional and fashionable. I'll take two. <laughs> Funny. Is this the guy that Clem said she'd flip? <laughs> yeah. Um, Clementine, could I speak to you alone for a moment? Good idea. Hold tight. Hey, uh, Ten, come here, buddy. I gotta tell you something. The walkers. They'll be here in a little while. You can join them as they pass through the trees. The noise from the boat will draw them toward the water. Then we can get on board and save our friends. Your friends are... different. Open-minded. Accepting. Like you. 
That's not usually how my first impressions go. Sorry, I feel like I'm rambling. It's just being welcomed. It's strange. That one boy called me cool. I'm not sure anyone's ever said that to me. Yeah, well, they don't scare easy. Not after what we've been through. Even if you are wearing a skin mask. They're yeah. brave. That's good. Courage isn't always easy. I wanted to show you something. This is... was my boyfriend, Charlie. We joined the Whisperers together. But it changed him. In a way that couldn't be undone. It changed both of us. What do you mean? The Whisperers were my family. From a young age. In that time, I witnessed a lot of death and suffering. Eventually, I became the cause of it. Weakness was considered a poison. And I believed in that fiercely. So much so that when another boy expressed sympathy for our enemy before an attack, I slit his throat. I didn't talk to him, didn't consider who he was, what he felt. <laughs> Honestly, I don't even remember his name. All I knew was someone like him would only slow us down. That was enough of a reason for me. That's... that's kind of hard to believe. It doesn't sound anything like you. Not anymore. But it was. I had no doubt in my mind that I was right. After he died, I kept hearing his words in my head. Those people are like us, just on a different path. I stopped killing after that. I changed. No one else did. When AJ told me he killed someone, it reminded me of them. Of myself. He said it was wrong, but it sounded like he was just repeating what he'd been told. Taking life like that from a young age, it breaks something inside you. It broke something in Charlie. I just... I'm afraid if AJ kills again, he won't be able to go back. He won't be the same boy he was. I've seen it happen too many times. I'm not going to let AJ become a killer. I don't want him to change. Not like that. I hope you can keep that promise. They're close. Soon there will be enough of them to provide us cover. I'll lead you through the herd until you reach the boat. That's as far as I go. After that, it's up to you. Thank you. Take care of AJ. That was very much a goodbye okay, he's speech. ready to go. The walkers are getting close. Ruby, you're in charge of the horses. Willie, Dan, take care of the supplies. And I'm in charge of the bomb. Find the boiler. There'll be a door on the bottom with ash and stuff. Put it in there. See you all on the other side. I'll cut it open. Louis told me about Minnie. That Sophie died, and Minnie is one of them now. Just... If you see her out there, Tell her, tell her I forgive her, please. I tell her myself, but I just want her to be okay. Yeah, sure. If we see her, I'll let her know. Thanks.
It's really happening, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. Other people's lives are depending on us. Depending on me. You're depending on me to... What if something happens to you, Clem? What if... What if I can't? I don't know. I can't carry that the rest of my life. I wouldn't have asked you to come with me if I didn't believe in you. Seriously, Louis, I mean it. Just believe me until you believe yourself, okay? All right. Though I don't know if that's as easy as you think it is. <sighs> okay, I'll try. But what if I just get us caught, too? All it would take is one little screw-up, and I'd screw up all the time. Uh, all right, come on, Louis. Get it together. I need you to slap me. Help pull me out of this. Right here. No, I'm not gonna slap you. Louis, you'll be okay. It's ready. Ugh. Oh, we're not doing what I think we are. That depends. What do you think we're doing? Oh, <laughs> God, we are. It'll help us blend in with the walkers. Mm. Oh, yeah. It's been a while since we've had to do this. And it's still disgusting. There. <laughs> I think I'm ready. Uh, no, you're not. You need it on your face. Ha uh ha. -huh. There. Ew. You know, walker blood is one of the hardest stains to get out. You owe me some new clothes. You gonna do it? You're doing it. Okay, follow my lead. Here we go. Stay behind the walkers. Use them as shields. one in front of this then and then it got completely downed so stay behind the walkers use them as shields Chance. We can't. 
can't risk leaving cover. We'll have to crawl along the side of the dock. Shit myself! Oh my god. The guts are coming off! me on the neck and it's like they weren't there a second ago so I don't I don't get it I like that we just had a trophy called shoreline and I just finished playing uncharted 4 oh. we're getting close after we find the boiler and place the bomb we'll get our friends out Minnie said there were eight raiders, but we didn't see that many outside. Look out for guards and stay quiet, okay? Good. I'll scout ahead and signal when it's clear. Got it? down here. Okay. Okay, I'll just 
just like bash that open or what? where we need to plant the bomb. There's too much stuff in the way. Maybe there's another way in. I feel like we need to hurry up because it doesn't sound like there's that many walkers that are gonna be left. Plus they're making so much noise. They're just gonna attract walkers from all over the place. They need to shut up! Wait here. stealth approach, but I'm gonna blow up the entire bomb anyway. And bomb. I'm gonna blow up the entire ship anyway, so they're all gonna die anyway. So I should have probably just killed them. Make your dad proud, Willie Jr. We all love and support you. Once they start up this boat, we won't have much time before it explodes. How long? Not sure. An hour, 30 minutes. I guess we'd better move. You'd better hope that they actually, you know, start it. Ooh. That looks cool. Right, up we go. Minerva, focus. Yes, ma'am. I have a little brother, short, scarred face. See, he's not out there, is he? Look, we've discussed this. Your family is Delta now. There ain't no room for anyone else. Yes, ma'am. There's no way we can get in there without her seeing us. Without our people. I swear to God, if you got Ten caught up in this, just, just tell me that he's safe. Give me that. He told me to tell you. He forgives you. <sighs> Shit. I'll help you get everyone out. Then you take my brother. And run. Get him back to where it's safe. Come on, we have to hurry. Why won't she just come with us? I don't understand. Clementine? Holy fuck! Oh my god, are you okay? He doesn't look hurt. I... Uh, yeah, I'm alright. We're alright. Get Violet first. She needs to know you're here. I'll unlock the other cell. We don't have a lot of time before Dorian comes back. Louis, give me a hand. Yeah, sure. Is this a trap? Violet. Violet. What the fuck? 
Minnie? Flynn! Get in the cell. Are now! You fucking, fucking told you! Don't catch me! Minnie, you don't know! What did I just say? <sighs> Shit. <sighs> Vi, what happened? Are you okay? Why didn't you say anything? Violet, talk to me. What is wrong with you? We're here to take you home. I looked for you. When they grabbed me, I saw you let them take me. What? I'm just supposed to forget that because you're here now? Some fucking friend you are. I'm sorry, Violet. It was a mistake. If I could take it back... Whatever. What's wrong with you, Vi? Come on, let's get the hell out of here. No, Clem. I'm done. This whole situation is so fucked. At least here I have Minnie. You what? mean the Minnie that betrayed us? Don't act like you know her. She tried to escape. Her and Sophie. They said if I fight back, they'd kill Minnie. Or one of you. All you've done is get us hurt or killed. If you fuck this up worse, I'll stop you myself. And don't think I won't. I'm not losing her again or anyone else. Fine. Stay here then. But I'm bringing everyone else home. Until you decide you don't want them around either. What? Whatever you do, leave me out of it. Don't be such a bitch! Oh man. I'm pissed! We're not staying here that long. And where's the rest of my people, anyway? Clem, are you alright? I'm fine. Where's AJ? Over here! <sighs> Thank God. Is Vi alright? She's saying she won't help us. What the shit? Are you serious? Ugh. We're not moving yet, so at least we've got some time. Oh my I god, guess. I forgot about the bomb. Lewis, are you all right? <laughs> Me? Yeah, I'm fine. Just trying to figure out the best way to survive an explosion. Shit. You doing okay in there, AJ? Yeah, I'm all right. I'm looking for a way out. Yeah, me too. The doors don't look very well made. Maybe that's something we can work with. Uh... Is there anything around this area? What do these people know? Omar, are you hurt? Let's just get out of here, okay? We will. How are you holding up? Lily. She scares the shit out of me, Clem. Earlier she came down to talk? Fuck. I don't think I've ever been that afraid. She's not messing around. We'll be home soon. Just hang in there. I think that's all of that. What about this? Look at the gap. Looks like there's a gap here. <sighs> Too small to fit my hand through. What about... Can I kick my way through this? Hmm. Maybe not. I do have some nice boots on, but I don't think I'm uh, kicking my way through that anytime soon. Violet, go F yourself. I literally couldn't care about you right now. Uh, what else we got? Window. Oh, great. Fine. Violet, come on. Fuck off. <clears throat> hey, Violet. What if I told you that I put a bomb on the boat, and if you don't change your attitude pretty soon, you're gonna die. How about that? Hmm. I can't. I 
can't talk to anyone. Uh, ooh. I might be able to chip away at this if I had a tool or... Damn it, they must have taken away my knife. AJ! Do you still have your knife? Yeah, they didn't find it. Only the big one. Good. I need you to slide it over to me. Don't mess this up. This better be the perfect slide. Hey! Good boy. Good boy. Shibby. What are you looking at? Hmm? Okay, so that one's got consequences, but I don't really have anything else I can do, so. All right. Hey! <gasps> Whatever you doing, don't. I promise you, it ain't worth it. Step back. She awake? Yes, ma'am. Oh, hey, bitch! Good. I'll take it from here. Am I supposed to be scared of you? Because I'm not. You're a bitch. Ooh. Shit. Where's Abel? He's dead. We killed him. We put a knife in his head. Fuck, you little monster. Damn it! We showed him mercy. He was terrified of turning, so we stopped him from having to. We gave him what he wanted. <laughs> I'm sure you did. Back up. Make sure you cover the knife. No. Good girl. Minerva. Open the door. Yes, ma'am. <sighs> Normally, the trouble you caused, I'd shoot you and toss you overboard. But I'm genuinely impressed. First, you organize these idiot kids into a fighting force and kill two of my most experienced soldiers. Then you sneak onto my boat under the cover of a herd. I bring a prize like you back to the Delta. It might make this whole clusterfuck of a mission worth it. Someone like you, so young with so much potential, you're far too valuable to kill. Look, if I'm the one you want, let the others go. This isn't a negotiation. This is me telling you how things are going to be. You know, my father, Larry, was a military man. Oh, yeah. And when I was a kid, he had all kinds of rules. The thing that bugged him most was waste. If I ever left a light on after leaving a room, <laughs> he'd flip. No matter how many times he ranted about the cost of electricity, I could never remember to hit that switch. So? So one day, he let our power get cut. He liked illustrations to show that actions have consequences. No more TV, no more hair dryer, no more ice cream sandwiches. Just a miserable family sitting in the dark. I always hated your dad. Right from the start, when he tried to throw Duck out of that drugstore we were hiding in. He never gave a damn about what people thought of him. My father had his faults, but he showed me the effectiveness of teaching by example. Oh, is that what this is? A lesson? You I want just to said you need story. me. Let's call it the parable of the twins 
Two girls were taken from their home and brought to a new place to live. They had to leave their friends and family behind, and that was hard at first. They shed a lot of tears. But the new place was a good place. The people there grew corn and raised pigs, and the twins ate well for the first time in years. They had hot showers, clean clothes, beds. They were given guns and trained to use them. The people there were kind to these girls. All that was asked in return was that they help defend the group. You see, this place had a lot of enemies, killers and thieves who wanted what they had. They needed help fighting, or they'd lose everything they built. Their crops, their power, even their lives. I wonder if that's how the twins would tell it. One of them would. <sighs> One of the girls saw that this was a place worth fighting for, and her tears dried. But Did the they? other twin, she could never forget her old home. She rejected every gift, every opportunity, stirred up trouble every chance she got. She convinced her sister to help her steal a rat and leave on the river. Of course, they didn't get far. Why are you telling me what this? What happened then, Minerva? <sighs> I killed her. What? Shit, Minnie! You... What the fuck? Is that true? Your own sister? Why would you do that? She was twisting my head with her lies. And? I made a mistake. I needed to show my loyalty to the place I call home. Like it or not, you're one of my people now, Clem. The question is, which twin are you going to be? The loyal one? Or the dead one? You! You brainwashed her! You people are fucking sick! Y'all better back away from the door! Lewis, calm down. Just do what they say. Fuck no! Look what they did to Minnie! I'd rather die than become that! Pull the mouthy one out of the cell. No, 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 no! They clearly didn't get the moral of the story. We'll have to help them understand. Stop! Don't hurt Lewis, or I'll hurt you. Hey, yo, you better cool it, or you gonna get yourself hurt. Fuck, 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 fuck! Easy! Stay still. No, 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 please, come! Hey, Jay, what are you doing? Don't make this hurt more than it has to. Come on. Just breathe. Okay. Come on, AJ! Ah! Hey, Jay! Oh, fuck! Son of a bitch! <gasps> Stop! That's enough. He bit me! I said that's enough! You deserve to die. We'll kill you! You think you can kill me? I know I can. We'll throw you in the river, or we'll put a knife right to the side of your head! Big talk for a little guy. I know I can do it. I killed Marlin. He wasn't a monster, but you are! Dang. So you killed Marlin. Huh. I bet you'd make a great soldier. Leave him alone. This is between us. Clem seems to care a lot about you. Come on. Let's go have a chat. Just us. Huh? Don't you fucking touch him! Clem! No, no, please! Clem inside! AJ! Keep an eye on her, Minerva. Lily, don't! Get this thing moving. I want to be far away from here. Fast. I'll start up the boiler. Don't. 
Don't you dare look at me like that. This is the only way we survive. Are you serious right now? After everything that she's done, you're just gonna help her? Fuck you! Minerva! Stop her! What the hell happened to you? You killed Sophie! What the fuck? You just decided, hey, I'll work with these people. They seem friendly enough. Don't act like fuck you! you. Don't You're gonna get us all killed. Are there. you fucking kidding me? Fuck you! <coughs> what the hell are you doing? Stop! Come on. Clem, behind you! You're the Look. fucking problem here! <gasps> I won't let you get them all killed! Go fuck yourself! Come on! Stop, Minerva! Do it! I'm warning Do you. it! What the hell is going on down oh. here? Oh! Oh! No, no, no! Wait, that's not what I... Dorian! No! Shit! No. Fuck! Ginger bitch! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What, Violet? Violet, we have to go. No! We planted a bomb on the boat. Fuck you, there's a bomb. Mitch is dead. You just... Fucking go! We have to get the hell out of here now! Go! I need to find AJ. I... I can... Uh, I'll be fine. Better see you on land. You will. Clementine since before this all started. She'll come around. You don't know shit about Clementine, you You'll come around too, once you see what we have to offer. Plenty of food, comfortable beds for you and Clem. Found one you more sneaking over room. the docks. Ten? Ten! Fuck. Tennessee. Did you get lost? Ma'am! He wasn't alone. I got something else to show you. This way. Found this in the herd. <gasps> James! No wonder there were so many walkers. Fuck! Must have thought you were clever leading those walkers here. Or was that Clementine's idea? Nothing to say? You don't fucking scare me. Is that so? Force your ways onto others. Because you're afraid. Because you're weak. I give my people a cause to fight for. The thing about people like him, AJ, is that they're too broken to fit into a community. They won't fight for anyone but themselves. Kill it. No! No! What the fuck? Easy there, Ten. Don't hurt him. Just stop hurting people. Please. Shooter! No, 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 no! I'll just take a breath. All right. Give me my friends back. Put down the gun. Let them go. All of us. Or, or else. Don't you dare. No! Fine. Go ahead then. Do it. Save your friends. That's what you came here to do, isn't it? Oh, I see. 
you came here to cry. Tim. Do something. No! Looks like you're not a soldier either. Please don't. No! the other what did you do you were fucking dead oh my god the bomb the bomb shit the bomb aj don't end like that don't end like that I need a minute to go through the stats. Shit, that was so intense. I can't even. Oh my god, that was like the best two and a half hours of my life. <sighs> All right, ninety-three percent. Mercy killed him. I thought a lot of people would go for that. Ninety-four percent of us respected James's belief and killed no walkers. I did kill a walker though, but I think. I think the game was like going into a cutscene as I did it. 70%. What do people call it? Oh, Mitch's masterpiece. Uh, fair enough. Um. Wait. What? 22% of players stopped AJ and let Dorian cut off your friend's finger? What? That's crazy. 42% told him to kill Lily. You know, I was over that bitch, so I was like, whatever. I don't even care anymore. Oh, man.
She blew off your reasons for not saving her. She despises me. Oh, God. Um. Oh, wow. Okay, so she would have cut off his finger. Oh, I would have cried. Oh, my God. Wait, why did he feel defeated? Oh, okay. Fair enough. Lily was a monster and we did teach him about that. I mean, James will get over it. Oh, Rosie is worried about everyone. Oh my god, that's adorable. I only got one of six. Damn. I missed out all the collectibles. Please give me a trailer. Trailer? Maybe? Maybe a trailer? Come on. Give me... No! Oh my goodness. That was epic. That was epic. I, um... Ooh, March the 26th for episode 4. Okay, that's not long to wait at all. I'm super excited. I, I want to know what happened with the bomb. So Lily's gone. Fuck that bitch. <laughs> she was awful. I hated Lily. I hated Lily in season 1 as well. So I am glad. I actually just wish I could have got to shoot her instead. But, you know, AJ got to do it. So that's fine. What was I going to say? I just... I'm blown away by how amazing that was and I'm I'm so happy that I actually got to play it because I wasn't sure that we were even gonna get um, this you know I wasn't sure we we're gonna get this at all I just want to say one thing though um, the section with Lee was very sad it was very upsetting but the other reason I got so upset is because like my granddad just passed away so having that like father figure sort of thing it just like brought me back to his funeral on Friday so that was why I was like oh. <laughs> so it was um that was a little bit hard so I hope you did enjoy my reactions to the Walking Dead episode 3 of course episode 4 will be up when it drops and I'm excited to see how Clementine's adventure comes to an end even though I don't want it to come to an end but anyways Thank you so much for watching. What did you think of episode three? It was pretty crazy. Like, I can't believe what happened. And, uh, yeah, I'll catch you all in the next video. Bye, guys.